Hello, how are we today? Lori from Art Lore, thanks for joining me. If you're new, thanks for joining me as well. And welcome to my channel. So today I am using up leftover colors from a swipe that I did. And the swipe is already uh, on my channel. And I don't know what number because I don't know, um, it hasn't even been posted yet. I'm doing these back to back. That's what I'm trying to say. I've had, I, you know, when I don't sleep at night, I have an issue with talking, you know, and it's like, oh my goodness, I got, I woke up at quarter to two and laid there and laid there and laid there. And then when I was just about ready to fall asleep, my cat came and meowed in my face. Then she bit me in the foot and she wanted me to feed her. And I'm not doing that. I'm not going to start training her to wake me up and feed feed me in the middle of the night. So I made her wait, but I didn't go back to sleep for a really long time till like five or six o'clock this morning. And then I got up at seven. So anywho, got my Java. We're gonna lay these colors down. I've got some really pretty colors, which you've already seen in the swipe, but I thought it'd be fun to use them up and do them in a bloom. So we're going to get down to the canvas. We're gonna make a mess. As you can see, I've already done that. And we're gonna have some fun, so let's do it. All right, I'm going to get you down. Okay, I think I have way too much pillow on here, but you know, at least I'm consistent. Oh my goodness. So we'll just do a smaller bloom, so when we spin, it'll come out uh, nicely, and it won't. I won't lose everything. Let me straighten you up here a little bit. Okay, first up, this is vermilion with a little bit of Atelier Naphtal Crimson Red. And I am in love with this color. It is just so pretty. We're going right here. We're just gonna lay a nice portion down. Okay, there we go. This next up is, um, oh, and I don't have a whole lot left. This was um, Folk Art. And it is the quartz, blue quartz. And then I added a uh, phthalo green, phthalo cyanine green to it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm done, that's it. I don't have any left. So if I have to make up more, I guess I will do that. This here is green gold by Golden. And then I added in just like the most minuscule amount of black and just a little bit of white because it just was too green and just too bright. So, um, and I'm not gonna add a whole lot of that in there. This here is uh, Deco Art Rich Espresso. And I just think that's such a pretty color and it's got such beautiful um, gold uh, shimmer to it. Uh, they, it's just really, really pretty. So we'll put a little bit of that in there. And then next up is, this is Triart Gold. And I thought it'd be kind of fun just to kind of work in some gold as well with the uh, Rich Espresso. I just think that's such a pretty color. Now, I hope I'm not going to ruin this, but I'm adding the blue. Um, I hesitated on adding it. This is phthalo, phthalo, no, this is Prussian blue, Liquitex Prussian blue, but I toned it down with a little bit of black. Um, but I think I'm just going to drizzle some of this on there because I don't know if I really wanna see a whole lot of this. But you know what, if I don't like it, we'll just do it over. We'll scrape it and do it over. Four leaf clover. Okay, we're just going to do that. Just a little, 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 tiny bit. Um, I think I have a little tiny bit of this left. I'm just gonna bloop that right in the center, just because I can. Okay, cell activator. Three, it's about three and a half to one. I generally do three to one, but my room has been really weird lately. And so, um, temperature wise. So I added a little bit of Floetrol to this today just to give it a little bit of zim and zigger. 
Vim and Vigor, Zim and Zigger. Yes, okay. Here we go, high sand, cool air. All right, off we go. Okay, I think the color palette worked out better with the swipe, but we'll see once we spin. I'm going to have to let this set up and maybe encourage it. And if we don't like it, then I'm taking out um, the Rich Espresso. I think I'll take that out. Um, I think it's dulling it down a little bit. And I'm not even sure about the blue. Let me ponder and we'll be right back. Alrighty. Center um, did its thing. It's really pretty. I'm glad I put that uh, phthalo cyanine green um, on last because it really um, showed up really pretty and it made some very pretty cells with the uh, kind of that orangey tone in the center. So it's really cool. Um, okay, so we still don't know if we're keeping it because I'm just not real sure about the palette. Uh, let's just spin this out a little bit and see what we get. And if we need to pour over, we'll pour over. Got my board sitting here for no reason. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Not really grabbing me. So with that being said, I'm just going to spin it again. And... See what happens. I don't know. I'll have to make up more of the that teal color because I am out. Let's just see what we have here. You know, actually now it's not so bad. Um, this definitely needs to come off. Let's do this again. We're going to spin it again. Give it a good spinner, Rooney, and see if we can kind of bring that out even a little bit more. There were a couple little spots on the edges that I'd like to see come off. So now I got to figure out where I'm going to put it to dry it. I have really don't have a good drying area. And because I'm on carpet, it's not very, it's not, you know, level. So I got to come up with something better. Okay, there we go. Okay. Well, you know what? I don't 
think I mind it now. It's got a lot of action going on. This is really cool. This is real cool. I don't mind it. I think I'll keep it. Yep, I'm not doing it over. I, I like it. The center is beautiful. Um, the cells are really, really fun. There's three little white dots there that I do need to get rid of. Um, okay, let me take you down. I think this is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. It's really interesting and in how different uh, this palette turned out compared to the swipe. Uh, because, you know, you're, you're blowing the paint instead of swiping the paint. It just gives a whole different reaction, obviously, but you'd think the colors would all be, you know, carrying off the same way, but they don't. So it's kind of fun. Okay, let me take you down. Okay, so there's kind of a bird's eye view. Hopefully you're in focus. There you go. Alrighty, so now we have the lower corner here. It is really pretty. There's a lot of movement. Um, that rich espresso shows up so beautiful. And then the gold kind of intermingles with all the lighter colors. It's really, really pretty. Very smoky, very uh, soft. Uh, loving that. Love the uh, striations in there, um, the lacing. Uh, here is the center with all the cool cells. See how those cute little cells, the blue with the um, kind of that coral, that deep coral in the center, so, so pretty. Uh, this is really fun up in here. Loving that. That's really cool. So there it is. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for letting me into your home. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and click the bell. Give me thumbs ups and comments. I love to chat with everyone. And if you guys ever have a color palette that you'd like me to try, I am open and down for that. That is for sure. And until the next canvas, everyone, thanks again. See you later. Bye.